Yo, Zo, you're a senior, right? Mm hmm Do you have perfect attendance? Nah, but we have a chance to help with the RCS food services, bring you lunch during the summer. And highlights from last night's orchestra concert. All today, today on, on On The Air. air. I'm your host, Dante Redmond. And I'm your co-host, Zoella Forte. RHS Food Services have an ambitious plan to go mobile, but they need your help to win a grant. Blue skies, warm breezes. Hmm, all that is missing is a food truck. It's a dream come true. With We Are Mobile, we can reach out to children who are not able to visit one of our school sites. Healthy foods, healthy body. Our goal is to feed every hungry child we see this summer. Only kids eat free. Music filled with sunshine will be played as we near the food site. Yummy, yummy, feeling tummies. Coming to a neighborhood near you, we hope. You can help them win by going to actusatoday.com slash submit dash and dash idea slash number sign slash gallery slash 59977881 slash. Once they vote for their video, you can vote one time each day. So go back often and vote again. You can also share their page on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and by email. We also post the link on our Facebook page and Twitter feeds to help you get there. Voting starts today at noon, so don't get on before then. But by this afternoon, get on and vote and encourage your friends and everyone you know now to vote as well. Seniors, with just over a month left in school, it's time to think that you have perfect attendance. Here's the list. Senior perfect attendance include Ashley Coffey, Jeremy Coffey, Darius Connor, Morgan Davis, Lillian Dickman, Jared Fott, Paige Hazelbaker, Jayla Mice, Claire Riley, Rosella Santiago Cruz, Lauren Tubasing, Avery Van Middlesworth, and Gabriel Wyatt. If you don't see your name, you can check out with Mr. Hensley's office door if you think your name should be on it. Then see Mr. Hensley. Another RHS senior graduated this week from our alternative program. Let's take a look. Now it's time for some RHS announcements, including an important one for Creative Writing Club. That's right, there are several announcements, but first an important one for the Creative Writing Club. Attention members of the Creative Writing Club, the meeting originally scheduled for today has been canceled. You will not meet this week. Officer applications for the 2017-18 school year for student council are live on Canvas now. They close this Friday, so make sure to get on and sign up to run now. The prom store is open now until prom. They'll be open tomorrow after school at, for about an hour this year along with over 700 formal dresses. They have a limited number of tuxes, tuxedos, shirts, vests, and ties. See Ms. Crow in R136 or Ms. Hartman in R146 for a time to visit the store. If you ever th thought about a career in nursing or another health career related field, then consider attending the Reef Health Careers Camp. The camp is open to anyone who is currently in high school and has at least a 2.0 GPA. It's one day camp where you'll get this job shadow of both nursing and allied health careers. 
The camp is free and you can pick up an application packet from your counselor. The deadline for applications is May 1st. Also, any student who signed up for the Biomed trip to Europe, the group will be meeting today after school in the RHS conference room across the cafeteria. The meeting should run from 3.30 to 4.15. Attention speech team members. The awards banquet will be on Tuesday, April 25th in the RHS cafeteria. Election of officers will also be that night. Stop by Mr. Swango's room, R243, to pick up an election form and get more information. The sophomore class is collecting box tops for education to raise money. Turn in your box tops into either Mr. Lambright's room 2, R255 or Ms. Rayburn in room 318. Remember, the GSA meets every Thursday in room L113. If you have any questions, speak with Ms. McFarland in the counselor's office. And seniors, remember, Indiana has extended the deadline to fill out your FAFSA to get your student aid for college next year. The final day to have yours submitted is Saturday, April 15th. With your RHS announcements, I'm Joey Kinley. Looks like it might be a few more days before we see any rain. Let's get the complete forecast of Greg. Don't let the nice weather fool you into thinking that it's going to be that way for the rest of the week. For today, expect some extra sunny skies with highs in the mid-60s. There is 10% chance of precipitation as well. Lows will be close to 50. For tomorrow, we will have partly cloudy skies throughout the day. Highs will be in the low 70s and lows in the low 50s. Not rain just yet. Make sure you're back with me on Friday to see if we will have some rain in the area. I'm Greg Lyons. Now let's check in with Houston with the Red Devil Sports Update. Tennis makes up a match and baseball plays another NCC game. Let's see how they did. Girls tennis was first up, making up a match with Northeastern that was rained out last week. RHS kept their winning ways, going easily, handling the Knights, a loss in sweeping all five matches. Next up for the Lady Red Devils is another home match when they host Eastern Hancock tomorrow night. Boys baseball traveled to Muncie last night and tried to move their NCC record to 2-0, but fell after a cold start. Tyler Stanley led the Red Devils at the plate with two hits, a single and a double. Tonight, they'll host the Bearcats and try for revenge at 5.30 p.m. at McBride Stadium. Boys golf were in action last night, traveling to Jay County for a match against the Patriots. RHS came away with the win 151 to 166. Jake Miller led the Red Devils with a match low of three under par for a 32. Jarrett Fott added a two over 37. That's all the results we have, but we do want to wish good luck to the girls softball team who is hosting Marion tonight. So get out and support them in another NCC game. Then tomorrow night they'll go on the road to Connersville for back-to-back -back nights. And good luck to the track team who travels to Greenville, Ohio tomorrow. With your Red Devil Sports Report, I'm Houston Carver. That's our show. And if you missed last night, here's a look at some highlights from the RHS Orchestra concert. Have a great day. Goodbye. the Richmond Music Boosters. Um, we have a $50 musicianship scholarship and that's given to a highly talented graduating senior. And the recipient of this award is definitely someone that leads by example in rehearsal um, and is talented in not only one instrument but another as well. Um, so we have um, our musicianship scholarship given to Zachary Harrison. And um, we also have a, no, don't go away yet, okay. We also have a scholarship from the Rich Music Boosters in leadership. Um, and this is a person who expl ex displays exceptional leadership skills in the music classroom. The recipient of this $50 award is going to go to Dylan Seal. Okay, now this is where you get the thing. Okay, here we go. Hang on. 
Um, the National School Orchestra Award is our next thing. It's a national award. It's something that orchestras across the country will do. Um, and this is introduced in 1955 to honor the top student in the high school orchestra. This recipient must be loyal, with good character and discipline, while achieving the highest standards that are required in instrumental music. And it is with great pleasure that I award this achievement to Eli Howell.